welcome back to the channel. We're in Porch Morellis and we're cooking again. Okay, look at here what I found, people. This is salmon. Yes, I've been looking for salmon in a can. Just did not recognize it because it said tuna. But I had to take a closer look and I found salmon in a can. So, of course, as you can see, we're going to make some salmon croquettes. We've got the salmon, eggs, poblano pepper, and onion. And we're going to get this mixed up and patted up and get ready to start frying these and fixing them in the pan. Thank you for current subscribers, for returning newcomers. Go ahead and push that red subscribe button and join the family. We're just cutting up this onion. Get this onion cut up. Oh, it's having a little trouble. Let's get all this cut up. Now this is just to your preference. Sometimes I cut this real little bitty and then sometimes I leave them big. You know, everything is to flavor. It's just to your own taste. You don't want the onions to be as prevalent. Then you can take a chopper or something. And you can cut these up even more. I'm going to go ahead and add these back to the bowl and get this um, pepper cut up. Okay. Because that's the one thing I love about your vegetables and things in Mexico. Well, at least I know in Puerto Morelos. They're always so very clean and fresh looking when you buy them from the store. They really take a lot of pride in um, making the vegetables look very good and making you want to buy them. And they always smell awesome. As soon as you walk in the store, you can smell all the fruits and vegetables. It's, it's pretty amazing. Okay. So we're just cutting these up. Get all that cut up. And then we're going to start opening these cans of tuna and mixing them in. We're going to go ahead and pour in the onions. And then we're going to pour in the green peppers, which is pro brown pepper. Okay. Let's just start popping these open and getting these in there too. We've got all our ingredients in here except for the eggs. We're just going to go ahead and put those in. And remember, we used four cans of the uh, small cans of tuna for this recipe. Okay. And we're going to use three eggs. Most of the time, I use an egg per can. But since the cans were small, I just used three eggs instead of four. But it's up to you. If you want to use another egg, it's not going to hurt. Okay. So we're just going to take that fork and we're going to stir that up. Now those of you who like a salmon salad, at this point you wouldn't add the eggs. You just would add your salad dressing and you could make a salmon salad. But for me, I am having a taste for salmon croquettes, which are salmon patties, and I just cannot wait. I've been looking for cans of salmon since I've been here, so for about four months, I never knew it was on the aisle. I thought it was on, it was just in a can I didn't recognize. So now we're gonna just patty these up and go ahead and put them in and get them frying. So let's get our pan together. We've got that pan on. We're going to pour our uh, oil in here. And we want it to fill the bottom. Yeah. Just fill the bottom because we don't want it to burn. We prefer avocado oil, coconut oil. Those type of oils are a better oil for you. Okay. And I'm just going to do this the old-fashioned way. 
And I'm just going to dip my ham right in it. See that? Now we're going to wait until that grease gets a little bit hotter. Because we do want that grease to get hot enough to go ahead and make it keep shape. Yeah. So we'll just wait for that to get just a little bit hotter. And now that I'm looking at the consistency of the salmon, I am going to go ahead and add another eight so it's not quite staying together like I want it to so I am going to add another See if that grease is hot enough yet. Yep, it's in there. So, okay. See how we've got this on the spoon? You're just going to put that on the spoon. Okay, and we're going to dump that right on out. And just let that be right there. Okay. Now, even if these don't patty up, it'll be okay. They will still be delicious. Yeah. Because, of course, you're using something a little bit different than what we have in America. So, it may not be exactly the same, but I can guarantee you that it will be delicious. So, even though it may be a little different, it'll be delicious so just keep them together as best you can there we go okay. now let's put the top on that and we'll come back there we go. Now they're taking shape. Okay, we've got this one on the side. Okay, this one in the middle. Let's see what we can do. Okay. Yeah.
There we go. We got that one to turn. So. There we go. I'm just going to let those get a little bit more crispy. And those are going to pretty much be done. So what we're having with it, we're just going to have a nice mixed salad. And the salad just consists of tomatoes, cucumbers, and your bag of lettuce. And that's going to be a great meal. Let me go ahead and see if I can plate one of these up so we can get a taste of it. Because the salmon is not raw. So it doesn't have to be cooked long. It's just to your preference. You know, as long as it's hot, it's actually ready. Because you can actually make a salad out of it. Okay? So we're going to go ahead and take one of these out. Alright. And put that on our plate. Okay. Want one or two of those? And we'll go ahead and put one more patty on this plate, and it'll be ready. Okay, and there you have it. So go ahead and try that out. See how you like it. Let me know in the comments if you used any different ingredients to make it your own. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great night. Bye bye.